Hi, I'm Shabani Shah, the Head of Programmes for the Patients Association. Hello, I'm Sarah Tilsed, and I'm the Head of Patient Partnership at the Patients Association. We have developed a series of short videos to tell you about patient participation groups. Hi, Sarah. Can you tell us a little bit more about actually setting up a PPG? What are the practical things you need to do? Thanks, Shivani. I think it's a good idea when you're starting your PPG to think about its aims and objectives, practical issues, and what resources you can call on. Are the aims going to be much the same from PPG to PPG? No, not always. While there are some national expectations around what PPGs do, each PPG should think about what it wants to achieve for the practice and its patients. Are there particular health issues locally that the practice wants to address? And will it need to fundraise? So it's all about the community, the practice services. What are the practical issues? Well, they're similar to those faced by most local voluntary groups. The PPG will need to elect someone to chair the group and its meetings, someone to take notes of the meetings, and someone to organise them. Deciding how the group will meet and where, if it's face-to-face, -face, how practice staff will be kept up to date with the PPG's discussions, and perhaps most importantly, Shivani, who will, bring, who will bring the biscuits. One very important aspect for all PPGs, but especially new groups or groups beginning to work again, now that restrictions imposed by the pandemic are relaxing, is how to recruit members and how you'll ensure that the practice staff Including the, GP, including the GPs, join the group. So tell me more about the practice staff being involved. PPGs are excellent examples of patient partnership if practice staff are members of the PPG and support it. PPG should talk with the practice to see what is possible in terms of support. Some PPGs are part of the practice's website and provide admin support. The PPG should talk to other practices PPGs to get ideas and support. That's great. Thanks so much, Sarah. And in our next video, we're going to talk about building your PPG.